Hey, this is Matt's 2290 here. It's going to be an update video on all the buses. Let's start off with the bad news first. Uh, I've been having some people ask me about the progress on the All-American here. And the truth is, I haven't had any time to work on it. Uh, it's too cold at this point to paint it, so it's just going to be a project for next year, next spring, whatever. As soon as it gets warm enough, I'll start working on it again. I don't really want to be out here sanding uh, when it starts snowing, so so we'll move on. Poor thing, it wants to be worked on too. The other bad news is this TC has some engine issues now. Nothing really major, major, but uh, if you look on the side of the block here, looks like stuff is kind of running down the side there. That's kind of hard to see, but. Uh, must have popped a head gasket because it's starting to seep cooling out the side there. The end. Uh, you can see some stuff coming from the block or the back bolt there, but yeah, kind of hard to see. Not really a huge, huge deal on these. You just have to uh, pull the head off and put new head bolts in, and so that'll be uh, another video when I get around to that. It's not something I've ever done before, but we'll get on it. So that's the bad news. It still runs, still drives. No, uh, no coolant in the oil yet, and I don't see any uh, coolant getting to the uh, combustion chamber. So there's no bubble coming out of the radiator. So there's that. So we'll move on to some good news here. Got this old nameplate here. Well, I picked up another one off of eBay, off of a well, it's a new one, but it's for a Bluebird commercial bus, so it's white. I figured that'll look better on here. I originally never uh, changed this because uh, I figured this is original of this bus, so I'd keep it, but I'll still hold on to it and just put this on there. I think that'll look a little bit better on there than the yellow just sticking out. <clears throat> Another thing I wanted to show you guys is I got one of these keychains here from my buddy Ricky. So it's a TC2000 keychain. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Match the bus. And a while back, I really owe uh, John some uh, credit for these because it's been a while, but he sent me these uh, LED tail lights that he apparently got a bunch of different LED tail lights and uh, from eBay from an auction. And he only had two of these, so he got a turn signal and a stop and a tail light, but he only had just one side. So that's uh, Texas Street Man, YouTube user, Texas Street Man. He sent me those, so. I bought two brand new ones to match them up. It took me a while to get them, but uh, they're actually from AL Light Tech. They're really cool because they uh, come with a lifetime warranty on them. I ended up getting these from Terminal Supply Company out of Grand Rapids. Uh, these were very expensive, actually. They're $37 a piece, and I had a place quote me uh, 60 bucks a piece on them. But I want to say thanks, John, for those. And a thank you for those. I'm going to send you this, an old exterior light monitor that I got out of an 80 Thomas bus, Ford, out of the junkyard. You, know, you said you wanted one of these. What's really cool about these old ones is that uh, the faceplate is actually metal on here, so the corners will never break off on there. This is an old, uh, got the four lamp with the belt line lights. Let's move on to some more updates. Some other parts that I got online. Got a new wiper switch. This is an intermittent wiper switch. Actually, got three of them here. There's another one in that box and one in this box. Um, got that one for $39, and these were both $40 a piece plus shipping. And uh, the All Americans, uh, it has uh, intermittent wiper switches, but it has two separate ones. So they said that this switch just plug right in and replace those two, but these other ones I'll have to hardwire into this somehow. Uh, some other thing I picked up was some extra gauges. I'm really interested in the uh, trans temp gauge. I don't care about the battery meter or the fuel gauge. But uh, these are actually from DATCON. But they should uh, pretty pretty well match up to the uh, Teleflex ones that I have. Because I haven't been able to find one that'll match up. So that'll be a video coming as soon as I get that put in. Uh, this is one of the aluminum wheels that I found for uh, that All-American when I get that project going. I put four aluminum wheels on, so this is the only one I have now at this point. I had to sell the other ones, unfortunately.
unfortunately. So I'm going to polish it up, make it look pretty, a little shine to it. Another thing that I did uh, to this bus not too long ago was I equal balanced the tires, and that's what this is as an indicator. It says that there's equal balance in the tires. And that's a synthetic sand, and if you guys are interested, I'll tell you a little bit more about it and how it works. There's one on there, too. I originally did that to the front tires on this bus when I put those on. Then the other thing people have been asking about is uh, the new little bus. And uh, what happened with that is uh, as soon as I got it, I put it into storage because I got the yellow bus over there to work on. So I have big plans for it, but I'm not really going to be touching it. I don't have any time to touch it. So it got put into storage, and I know you guys want to see an overview of it. So I've uh, been trying to do that, but the problem is, is uh, I need time to do it and I work 7 to 5 during the week so when I go to work it's dark and when I uh, leave it's about getting dark and buses are 45 minutes away from where I work so I can't really uh... <laughs> I need daylight to film plus I need just time to get up there then I work on the weekend too so that throws it off being able to uh... do any filming so I'll uh... actually offer this to you guys if you guys want to uh, see a video on that, I'll post that next Friday. Or I got a bunch of other videos. I just uh, it's my own personal preference to uh, not post a bunch of videos at one time. Cause I don't like to go online and see that somebody posted like five videos of the same thing, and I'm like I don't I don't want to sit there and watch five videos that are ten minutes a piece. So I just try and stick to one one video a week. So if you guys want to see that, I will make a point to make a video about that. Uh, I got one of a 2006 All-American startup. I got a video of a startup of a 6.5 diesel and a little uh, Bluebird bus. So just go ahead and uh, post a comment. See which one of those you want me to post on Friday. Or vote them up, whatever, however you guys do it. Uh, so I guess that's about the uh, update that I have.